Okay, I wanted to introduce you to a, um, a product that we're going to use to make the, um, the waves, to make the waves. Everything in here is going to be watercolor, but we're going to use um, a paint called Wash. This is called Winsor Newton um, Designer Gouache, excuse me, Gouache, G-O-U-A-C-H-E. It's white. It's permanent white. I like white, permanent white. Um, so I think there's a lot of different brands, but it's called Gouache, G-O-U-A-C-H-E. And I always have a tube of white in my um, paint box. Um, and you can mix it with other colors, and you can reactivate it. After it's dried, you can get it wet again and wake it up. So you're going to learn about gouache today. That's how we're going to make the waves. So first off, what we're going to do, I mixed up a little bit of cerulean blue on one side, pretty heavy. And then I have some cobalt blue and phthalo blue, which are pretty turquoise looking. And even if you have turquoise, you can throw that in. And I put them on the other half. Do you see how heavy that is? My paint's pretty heavy. I don't have, I've got water in it, just not tons. So what I'm going to do, we're going to do this back part of the ocean. So I'm going to, I've, I've got a number seven. I, I dumped the wash brush for a while because I don't need the big one because we're kind of, remember your tool, tool bleh, your tool always needs to match the, um, your assignment that you're doing, your painting. So I'm just going to kind of get it wet. And what I'm going to do, I kind of drew in where the waves are. I'm going to go around the waves. Okay? So you've got this nice straight line here. You don't have to be perfect. So this is going to be the back part of the ocean. And you can skip around if you, and I didn't do it here because it was so tiny. You can leave a little bit of white to show some um, little breakers rolling in. But I'm just going to get it wet up above the um, waves, the foam that we drew. So first off, I'm going to take the cerulean blue and I'm just going to swipe it on here. Now if you're doing a big piece, you can use the big white uh, flat brush that we used for this guy. You don't, I mean, you don't have to always copy what I'm doing. So right now I'm just using some cerulean blue. Maybe I'll leave some of this white in here. Maybe it can show or maybe not. So I'm just going to kind of, I want to paint back behind, behind the big foamy, these are the foamy waves, I want to paint behind them. So now what I did is I took that phthalo blue and cobalt blue, even if you have a color called, um, there's colors out there called turquoise, I don't care. Just get what you have. We just kind of want a really rich, pretty dark blue. So next one I'm going to do, coming from over here, I'm going to kind of go backwards. I'm going behind where that wave is. See what I'm doing? And if you have to use some water, if it's not moving, just, just use some, that minute, right, that second ago I just dipped in some water. And I'm just going to pull it across the cerulean blue. So this is just that back ocean. Isn't that pretty? So I'm just following that line, just following the line. And you know, a lot of times, um, yeah, that looked pretty fun. See how deep and dark it is? I might leave some of these little white things in here. That's a little darker over here, and then as it comes over here, it gets lighter. Then you can take your brush, give it a little squeeze, and you can, if you want to, with the clean brush, I just kind of push a little bit. You can lift a little bit of that if you want to. It's just kind of your own prerogative, whatever you want to do. Maybe I'll do a little bit here. That looks really good. I'm going to leave that alone, just so that we don't have a solid color Kind of have a variation. So see back here, this is where you're going to have your surf, and then here's your um, good looking wave that's going to come in. So that's all we're going to do right now, because I need to dry this before I put the gouache on. It's, it's imperative that this is dry before you put the gouache on. So you're just going to do your background. Also, another thing, if you've noticed, when you have a big piece of paper, you don't have to do a whole painting on it. Sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. 
Again, the good old tape works great. Tape off little squares. Measure them with a little tape measure or ruler, whatever you have, and tape them off. These are great gifts, these little tiny paintings. They're really fun, and the when you tape them off and you score them with your fingernail, they leave a really cool little sharp edge. So, so far, what we did, the first lesson you did your sky and your beach. This one, we just did the back water. I'm going to go take this and dry it with the hair dryer, then I'm going to come back, and we're going to tackle the waves and underneath. So, um, go ahead and do this, and I'm going to go dry, and I'll see you next time.